Governor Kristi Noem says she's considering several ways to reform policing. The comments are in response to protests across South Dakota and the nation after police involvement in a black man's death in Minneapolis. There is no one who thinks that what happened to George Floyd was okay. Personally, I haven't even been able to make it through the video yet. Um, it has been gut-wrenching to watch. The question before us now today in South Dakota is what do we want policing to look like? Nome lists three things she's examining in response to Floyd's death under the knee of a police officer. One is police union contracts, which she says make it difficult to fire bad cops. I saw a statistic yesterday that said 25 percent of police officers that had been fired for certain reasons um, had appealed and gotten their jobs back. I think we should be examining those kind of policies and see if they're appropriate. Noam also says civil asset forfeiture laws may need reform. Those laws allow police officers to seize property believed to have been involved in criminal activity even in some cases when the owner is not found guilty of a crime. At the federal level, Nome says qualified immunity should be discussed. That's a legal doctrine that often shields police from prosecution and civil penalties. A reporter asked Nome if she supports making body camera footage a public record in South Dakota. Nome said that should be considered. We are uh, sitting down with an open mind, examining the data and the facts around each of uh, these policies and wondering if there is reforms that could be necessary to create a much better situation into the future. Noam also says she invites African Americans to engage with her on ideas that could make a long-term difference in policing. For South Dakota Public Broadcasting, I'm Seth Tupper in Rapid City.